Hello, in today's video we're going to be doing an orchid bloom showcase of my Phalaenopsis Qianlong Corning Eagle crossed with CS Focus number 3. So this is an orchid that I got um, from Getson 08 back in December of 2021 and this is its first blooming with me. I think it came with a bud or an open flower um, but this is the first bloom that I've had under my care and I'm very excited about it. So as you can see it's a generally red flower but there is this really sort of pale yellow undertone. Actually if I turn around you might be able to see that a little bit better. So yeah, you can see that there's like this sort of like pale yellow undertone right here that comes through on the flowers. But the main reason I wanted to do this sort of updated uh, bloom showcase on this girl is because her fragrance has improved. <laughs> when I first got this one, um, honestly, it smelled like hot dog water. <sighs> yeah, I know, it smelled kind of crazy. And now with this second bloom, it's smelling a lot more like the violet. So let me just sniff her a little bit. Yeah, so I'm still getting some sort of like barbecue-ish smell from her, but I'm very excited that she does smell a lot more like the Violacea, and she does have quite a bit of Violacea in her from the Chenlun Corning Eagle side, and also from the Sia's Focus side. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to have her back in bloom, and also to have her healthy. <laughs> I'm laughing because um, some of my orchids and moss that I've put in the grow tent, um, it's just been sort of an issue personally getting the watering right. I feel like sometimes I water them too much and with some of them I've lost like all of their roots and they're looking a little bit struggly. Um, specifically my Qianlong Spot Eagle Cross is um, almost fruitless and it is struggly right now. And that's because I kept it in moss and all of that jazz. But this one, I guess I caught it in time or I just haven't been um, watering it as much. But yeah, it's doing really great right here. And eventually in the near future, like in the next month or two, I want to repot it into bark and moss and give it a little bit more air in this um, root mass. But yeah, it's super healthy. It's only got... Um, Looks like it's only got one spike on there, which is this one. And I don't really see another bloom coming. I don't really get like sequential blooms on my summer bloomers, although I've only been growing for like five years and polykylos for maybe three. Um, but I generally don't get like sequential blooms on my fowls, polykylos fowls. They'll generally just bloom once and then that's done for the season, which I don't really mind, but hopefully I'll be getting my care um, you know, locked down and I'll be able to get those wonderful sequential summer blooms. But yeah, not much more to say about this one. Cute little flower. It's fairly waxy. It's not like, it's definitely not the thickest, um, polykylos fowl that I have even compared to my, um, What's the one that I just... My KS Super Zebra. It's definitely got a lot thinner petals, but it's great. It has the Corningiana shape. It's got... I'm pretty sure this barring is from the Corningiana. Um, I just love the Phalaenopsis Corningiana, so <laughs> I love this one. Anyways, not much more to say about this. It's growing really well. It smells great. Um, I'm just happy to have it. <laughs> So that's been my Orchid Bloom Showcase of my Phalaenopsis Qianlong Corning Eagle crossed with Seal's Focus number 3 from Getsen08. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.